Welcome back and we're going to start importing data into our Access database. I have closed and returned to Access, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to open my last database. Notice that since I have closed and reopened the whole computer since the last recording that I'm getting a security warning. Some active content has been disabled. You could click for more details, but really what's happening is that the computer is aware, Access is aware, that it is possible to write complete programs in Access using Visual Basic for Applications. Visual Basic for Applications is a programming language that exists inside of a Access and some of the other Microsoft Office applications. It could potentially be used to write viruses that might impact your computer's performance. Since this is the database that I created and I know where it came from, I can enable the content because I trust it. But that's why that comes up. All right, now we've created the table kind of pets and the table pets. At this point, I want to use the external data option to import data into my database. You should have downloaded the pets Excel spreadsheet. This is what it looks like. We have a pet ID, owner first, owner last, kind of pet, breed, and pet name. I'm going to go into the external data tab and I'm going to import data from Excel. I'm going to browse to find my file, which I've put on my desktop. And I'm going to open it. I'm going to append a copy of the records to the table, pets, and then I'm going to hit OK. It's showing the worksheets, and this is a sample of the data that I'm going to import. I want to make sure that it's checked. First row contains column headings, which it's recognized. And then I'm going to hit finish. Okay, I have an error. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I actually think I know what the error is. It told me that the field Let's go to the home key and data sheet view. I noticed this when I was editing my recording that my owner last name was misspelled. I've left the error in here so that you can see what happens if you make a typo. Then it won't import properly. So I've now fixed it to owner last. And notice that it's recognizing the field name, not the caption. Let's close this table, which will save it, and give it another shot. Import from Excel, import to the table pets, find my data file, hit open, hit OK. That's correct. It knows that my first row contains column headings and they match and finish. Now notice that it lost a record due to key violation. That's okay. I want to show you what happened. And again, I'm leaving this in. It's an error, but it's an error I want you to be aware of. The records were lost. Either the records you pasted contain primary key values that already exist in the destination table, or they violate referential integrity rules. Yes, we're going to proceed anyway and I'm going to hit close. So it's okay that there was an error, but I wanted you to see that Excel would show you what the error was. So we have table pets and we have the table from Excel. What happened was that I already had a pet ID number one. Since it exists in the Access database, we put in our first name, 
our name in the first record. The one that's in the existing database overrides what was imported. There always has to be a decision when the two crash. You don't need to change that. I just wanted you to see that Access does some error checking for you so that you can trust it to know what's going to happen when you merge two data sources and it's going to give you error messages telling you exactly what's happening. You don't need to fix it. It shows you that it is letting you know what's going on there. So we now have lost the first row that was in the HEDS Excel sheet, but we have the information that you've typed into the first row and that will let us do everything we want to do going forward. So once you have that data imported, you can come back and we're going to talk about how we can sort and analyze data in the table view.